Welcome to the Solens customer video series. In this video, we will review the steps to replace a probe on a Solens Lasermark flat tape measurement device. First, to remove the old probe, twist counterclockwise, then slowly pull the probe away from the tape seal plug. It will take some force to pull past the O-ring, but be careful not to overextend the connector wires inside the probe. Then, remove the two wire connectors from the brass tubes. Before replacing the probe, it's a good idea to test that the tape seal plug is in good condition using a multimeter. First, with the water level meter on, the measured voltage across the two brass tubes should be close to 9 volts. And with the water level meter off, ohms across the two brass tubes should read overload or infinity and show no values. Solent's products come with the QR code to scan for access to online instructions, including probe replacements and all replacement probes come with a new o-ring, so you should always replace the old one. When removing the o-ring, never use a sharp object. Instead, use your fingers to push the o-ring up and roll it off the tape seal plug. Again, don't use anything sharp that could damage the tape seal plug, like the one shown here. Use a lint-free cloth to thoroughly clean the tape seal plug. You can use a little bit of water to lubricate the new o-ring. We recommend to not use a lubricant that could trap debris over time. With your fingers, install the new o-ring in the groove in the tape seal plug. Just use your fingers to slowly roll it down into place in the groove. Again, ensure the tape seal plug and brass tubes are clean and dry. You want to lay the tape with the numbers facing up. Connect the green wire from the new probe to the brass tube on the top of the tape. You want to make sure that the connectors are pushed all the way onto the brass tube. You then connect the white wire to the brass tube on the bottom of the tape. You can slowly twist the probe to shorten the wires as this will help the wires tuck easily into the probe, avoiding any nicks. Line up the indent in the probe with the groove in the tape seal plug Push the probe past the o-ring and twist clockwise until it seats. You'll now want to test the device to ensure proper connections have been made to the new probe. Here, with the water level meter on, we can see that the light indicates water has been successfully detected. Thanks for watching and please feel free to contact us with any questions or comments.